Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going well. I'm up. I'm ready to take on my day. I'm a little slow. It's a ponytail kind of day. It's a slow moving kind of Monday, but that's okay. Do you ever feel like this time of year is, I don't know, maybe this time, maybe it's through the winter too, but I just feel like like for me, it's like we're getting into the routine of schooling and sometimes it gets that humdrum, that like repetition of things to do. And sometimes it just feels like, ugh, you wake up and you're like, all right, I haven't even had my first cup of coffee all the way. And you're like, okay, I gotta get going. I gotta get moving. We gotta like fan that flame inside of us. And so it brought to me this scripture and I, I like, I had to look it up because there's, I like how they have different versions. It's in 2 Timothy 1, 6 and it says, this is why I would remind you to stir up, which means to rekindle the embers of, like if you have a fire, rekindle the embers, fan the flame of, and keep burning the gracious gift of God, the inner fire that is in you. So I think of that, I think like, sometimes we just need that like, motive, like this is Monday motivation to get you going for your week. But sometimes, you know, like thank goodness for the internet. Like back in the day, they had no internet. You just sat at home and you had to like motivate yourself to get off the couch. There wasn't like people to share like encouragement to get going, especially for like stay at home moms. And I know for myself, I had like a lot of kids and I was at home and you know, there wasn't time for TV. There wasn't even, I mean, if there was internet, there was no time for internet. It was just a busy time. And so sometimes I know it's just, and even, you don't even have to have kids. You can just be alone and not have anybody around you, you know, during your day-to-day -day activities. And it can sometimes get like, it like, like you don't even want to. Like the whole like sigh of like, okay, I gotta get going. I gotta get do something. So sometimes within ourselves, we just have to stir up and fan up those flames like a fireplace, right? Think of the fire when you're making a fire and you got all those little ashes that are just sitting there and they're just... They're, they're putting off a glow, they're putting off some heat, they're, you know, it's, it's good, but then you start fanning those flames, you start stirring up those embers, it like starts rekindling the fire, and it starts bringing back life into that fire, and like it can continue to burn. So within yourself today, fan that flame, get that going, you're gonna have to fan it, I know it's work, and then stir up those embers, and get, get going for your day. Make a plan, make a list of what you can do. Like, I have my list, I have my list, <laughs> my list of things, I should do today and it's not mandatory if I don't guess what tomorrow it'll go on tomorrow's list or the end of the week's list however my life works out but I have some kind of plan so make a plan sit down and make a plan and go what are some things that I need to do today what are some things that I can do in my home and your list is gonna look different than my list and that's quite all right that's the part of life like we are all in different situations all in different seasons in life and like we have to do what's good for us, like for me, for you. These videos are great to be able to share like encouragement to kick it up and get going, but don't let them be discouraging. Don't let them go, oh, I didn't really get that much accomplished. No, you have to go, what is it I can accomplish? And then by the end you go, sorry, phone beeping. <laughs> so you have to think, what is it I can do today? So I know for myself, it was a slow moving morning. It's Monday, I'm usually like on fire, ready for my Monday, ready to go. And today was just not one of those days. And I'm like, it's okay, it's okay to like, not be fanning the flame just yet. So I sat and I had to have some quiet. I had to like think, okay, I'm, I'm stirring those numbers a little bit, like getting them going out. What is it I need to do? Get my list going. My flame is not on fire yet, but the embers are stirring and I know I have a plan. I know what I have to do. And for myself, I have a list over here on my refrigerator. So right here, I have my Monday list. I know kind of what I need to do today. Make yourself a cleaning list. Like it's, it takes time. If you don't have a cleaning list, do that today. Even if it's just you at home, like make yourself a cleaning schedule. Sit down, make yourself a cleaning list today. Forget the cleaning of your house. Sit down and take the time. It'll take a couple hours. It took me a couple hours. I remember the first time I did it and I just sat there and I like wrote everything out. I have a video. I can like link it below. Yeah, I can link it below if you guys want to do that. If you don't have it, do it. Set yourself a cleaning schedule. You can be 70 years old. You can be 80 years old. I don't know if you're cleaning at 80. Maybe you are, but you can be 70 years old. You can be 20 years old. You can be a teenager and have just responsibility for your room or for certain areas of your house, but make a schedule. Make a schedule for something that you can kind of keep. So I know for myself today, if I don't feel like doing anything else, I can look at my thing and go, all right, what am I responsible for today? And get that done. And, and it's small. And then I go, okay, great. And then, if, and then, then if I get to the extra stuff like awesome but if not at least what I, I needed to get done today gets done and then guess what if nothing got done in there I'd put it to Tuesday but for me I should be able to get that little list done so do that today if that's if anything else do a cleaning schedule if you don't have one of those it'll make I promise you that was like 
people always ask like what's what's one of the greatest things that helped you and you know talk to a lot of younger moms and just um things that like how they get stressed out and overwhelmed and like scheduling is a good thing and not so much scheduling like minute by minute but just having some sort of plan schedule like making a cleaning schedule that was probably life-changing for me making a master grocery list that was life-changing for me and then having like a set kind of schedule plan for the day that was life-changing for me as well just all things that help change and help structure your day a little bit better so if you don't have any of those set those up today that's a good thing to work on today but for myself i don't have to because i have mine and i have my other list right here so i'm gonna my embers are stern i feel in feeling the heat like I'm ready to start on my day. So we're gonna have a great day today. I'm gonna to share with you, I got a clip here. I filmed a little bit this weekend. Um, I had to go kill some time out. I had to drop, Jaden um, was working and so I had to drop her off and then I had to kill like a few hours. So let me share with you what I did. Okay, going to Walmart before the sun's even up. What am I doing? All right, so I take a pit stop by the Christmas stuff. Nobody's in the store, I'm killing some time. So they've got some cute, cute things. I have to get all our Christmas stuff out to see what I need before I uh, attempt to buy new things. The little things kids have their little tree. We'll have to see about getting ornaments and stuff. Have to wait till we get everything, but so cute. Those are cute little there. I like the piece. That's really pretty. We don't want the snow. Oh, all the fun colors. Not bad. So many cute things. So little houses. So cute. All right, I gotta stay out of the aisles. I'm gonna go look at, look at this, the wood stuff. Ooh, that's cute. All right, out of the Christmas stuff. Let's go see what we came for. Okay, I need some blinds, cordless blinds. Let me look at my size I need. Okay, the music is so loud. I need 29, I kinda wanted to get the, oh, room darkening, 29 by 60, I need these. The girl's curtain bolt broke, so they need some kind of things in the room and I thought we'll just get some blinds so that's what I needed was blinds. I'm gonna need a mirror for my entryway. Some kind of mirror. Ooh look at that. Let me look at my measurements here. Okay I brought my tape measure. My kitchen area is 28 by 36. I don't know that one, the round one? That might not be too bad. I don't know what else they have. They don't really have anything white. Let me measure these real quick. Or does it have an inch on it? Probably does. 28 by 36, no, no measurements. 28, 28 inch. Okay, this is kind of cool because it's the, let's draw my time with the tape measure. Round at the top and square at the bottom. So I think we're gonna go with this one. It's 28 by 36 was my measurement. So I will get this easy to hang, let's hope. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This versus the round shape one by the door, perfect. I think that's gonna work right there by my coffee station versus around but I think that's gonna work all right have a mirror again yay something else I saw was snow pants that was one thing I needed snow pants for Maddie and for I think Steven so I've got these ones here for them and I've had this on my list snow pants for Madeline snow pants the boys I wish I will like hopefully it was Steven a shovel scrap with holes so I'm gonna go look in the girls section it's always good to purchase on off season and way before, otherwise you'll never find it. Okay, I don't know what size I need and I'm thinking, which do I have for Jensen? So I'm gonna get a size 18. They're all the same, boy and girl. If you get the same color, you'll be able to use a bra. This is a 14, 16. Be a little tall for Maddie, but it'll work for next year. And 10, 12, that'll work for Steven for a few years. So that was a good find. We may never use them, but at least we have them. So then they have boots, they have the snow pants, and I bought really nice gloves um, last year in clearance. So everybody will be tidy and warm for if we get cold weather. Yeah, I don't want to, but if we do, we have it. Okay, I need a pair of slippers because I started wearing mine outside in the garage when we're doing the floor from last year and they're ruining. So I need something I can throw on, walk outside, go to the post office and not care. So it looks like they're backwards. So I'm going to get these and that's gonna be good. It's cause it's, that's why. No, it does look like they're backwards. Doesn't that one look crooked? Is it just because the form is in there? Probably just because the form is in there. <laughs> Let me try that on. All right, I've got some outside slippers. They look weird shape, but they'll work. They'll work for if I have to run outside and I don't want to put shoes on. There's my kind of, <laughs> that's it. Sandals with, uh, the, that's funny. That's what I would need. 
They have some cute stuff. I'm looking for, I keep looking in the mirror, it's like reflecting my views when I'm walking, so it's throwing me off. But I think that's gonna work for what I need. Okay, I got what I needed. Now I'm gonna leave there, so I can go to the next door. Okay, one more. I'm gonna grab two, four. Let me grab these. Black will fit everybody and match everything, just to have those. So, all right, we are a little bit prepared for winter now. Not that I wanted to come, but if we need to, I've got some. All right, spent a little bit more than I intended there, but I got things off of my list that I put on there like in the summer, like since last year, because I knew that I had to get some snow pants. I actually got three pairs. They're, they were size 18, so I'm assuming that's gonna even fit like some of the, if the teenagers wanted a pair. I know we have one pair, I just don't know. I feel like it's more Jensen size, but I feel like there's enough there for at least three or four kids to go in the snow, which is good. And then um, I bought those, the simple gloves, just because we don't have any of the knit ones. They all got like just lost in, who knows where they're at, but at least I'll have some new ones. And then the mirror, the mirror was $65. I was like, ugh, but it's okay. <laughs> so a little bit more costly, it's heavier. So I'm hopeful, I bought monkey hooks there because there's no studs in the wall and I'm like whenever we put the anchor in it just doesn't seem like it goes well so monkey hooks are supposed to like go in and they kind of I don't know they look like a u-shape or something so you put like a tiny hole and they're supposed to hold a lot of weight I don't know we'll see they should be at the post office I'll, hopefully I'll get there today before then so I'm trying to stretch out my time a little bit because everything opens at a different time um, and so <laughs> big lots is my next step I ordered coconut oil it wasn't near me that's the reason why I'm coming out this way is because they have some and they put two on hold for me so I'm gonna go in get those hopefully and then um go see if they have any more in the store so let me go ahead to big lots and then we gotta kill time because i got about 45 minutes until my asian market opens so we're just gonna kill some more time in big lots which i know we can do that okay i'm going to big lots i never did the curbside or it's not curbside it's just to pick up but I'd, we'll see how it works okay, they have a mirror here too this is 32 but it's just a simple square so i'm thinking my i think my one shaped one whatever it's called archway is gonna be good all right let me go see, let's go see i think this salt my girlfriend got i'm gonna get some salt big container of it for six dollars i feel like that's a really good deal oh they have coco aminos too for six dollars this is always oh look what i mean five dollars it's better than using um soy sauce and things hmm i'm gonna go get soy sauce but i'll get some of this too why not i'll get a five pound bag for five or a container for six you might as well get the bag of it because most people don't have a container to put in so i will use that Save some money. I'll just get my soy sauce. Oh, that's cool. Look at candies inside. How do they do that? You probably just put a hole in it. Yeah, you just scoop out a hole. Never mind. I thought I was thinking, how is that working? Please come look for random things because you never know what they'll have. Like peanut butter powder. That's good for smoothies right there. Instead of using peanut butter. Hmm. I think we'll wait on that though. Here's where the coconut beef. They only have small ones. So hopefully they have my big ones. Okay, so all I got was my coconut. So this is $15. It was the only two they had in the store. That is the nearest one near us. Like, that's the only people I have. So, sure as the coconut one, I got some salt. I'm gonna go run into Marshall's now. There was a gift there that Autumn picked out. Said she'd like for Christmas. So I'm gonna go buy that. This is one thing she wanted. So I'm gonna grab it now while it's here. She wanted something for all her bracelets. That's perfect. Okay, perfect. That's good for her. See, one little gift done. They have so many cute stuff. I'm like looking at all the, oh, there's like, see that little orange one? I'd like like a square. I never thought to look. Let me go look. They always have good, look at snuggle weather. Mm. All I need is love and a cat <laughs> or Maxine. Let me see if they have big pans here. I'm sure they do. Those are all round ones. I'm thinking something square. I need to get, look at all the cute stuff. So many cute things. I have so many cute clothes, and today's like freezing, so I look looking at the coats like, I need a coat, but I have a coat at home. It's just that cold weather. Hmm, where's there? Look at all the, wow, look at all this stuff they have for so cheap. They've come a long way. Oh, that's so cute. Do they, where's their pants? Did I not see any? Hmm. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to go look somewhere else. Was this it? That's not it. Maybe they're just like right here in the middle. Like there's one, but it's more like a, that one's not too bad. This one's a little bit bigger. Like even I guess that's like a nine by 13. I was thinking a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is $30. I'm gonna look online. Just so I kind of compare. This is four liters, just to see if there's anything else. Christmas, 
feel like we need to decorate early this year. That's pretty though. Something else I've been doing is looking at a new bed for Maxine. I need to measure her when she lays down because I'd like to get her something that's closed in to keep her warmer. And I feel like this would work, but I just don't know if her body's, I don't think it's that big, but I feel like it would take up the whole thing. I don't know. I'm just looking at different styles, but I was thinking that versus her open bed. I feel like she'd like it better. I did one up last year, but it was real tiny like this. And just didn't fit her, so we'll see. We just gotta get one in the future. She's gonna need a new one. All right, let me keep on walking here. What about one of these, like, little swings? Those are cute, too. Does she need a little teepee? I don't think so. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get one thing right here. Perfect. You know, there's so many things to get. Look at the girls' coats. Cute stuff. All right, look at the little baby girl stuff. Oh, so cute. And little baby boy stuff. Cuter. All right, got one thing. That's the story there. There's so many cute things and clothes, kind of like a TJ Maxx, and you want to buy more and more, but. Okay, I'm gonna go to Lee's Asian Market. All I really need, <laughs> you always get more than you need, but I like to get my soy sauce here because I can get a big bottle, my sesame oil, I need to get coconut cream, and I think that's it. Because I have enough pasta. Yeah, I do have enough pasta and stuff. So those, those three things and maybe some treats for the kids because they like it here. I didn't film in there because it was people, but I got the kids' favorite ramen. This is their favorite, Ikiban. That's like cheaper than their regular grocery store. This is the coconut cream that I enjoy using for $3. And then they didn't have like soy and sesame and bigger things. So I got like some generic brand. There's a big container in here, like sesame seed oil and soy sauce, but it works. I got something. Would it have been cheaper at Walmart? I don't know. Sometimes, like the last time I came in, I got a big container for a real inexpensive but this time it was more that's okay all right i'm gonna go i gotta refill some more time because i gotta pick up Jaden. all right now we're gonna start with our day you guys ready all right it's cleaning we're mo we're, we're and we should call it like not motivation stir in the embers stir in the embers day <laughs> fan in the flame fan in the flame motivation monday all right let's have a great day ready let's go cleaning up my kitchen and my dining room area i feel like i'm a slower moving person today and that's okay you just take your time getting things done so i'm wiping everything down real good i feel like it needs a good wipe through and cleaning real good and just taking care of just you know the every day it's like smudges and fingerprints and you know just messes this is what happens in life so going through and wiping everything down always gives it like that good clean feeling Now, usually once a week, sometimes every two weeks, it depends on how dirty, I have to clean out my ice machine and my um, coffee pot here just to clean out the water because it does get yucky inside. And so just cleaning that out, real simple. I only like to take it apart, what, like every four or five, probably about every, I'm gonna say every five months to clean the inside where that build up, like the calcium in the water builds up and clogs the, the tubes. But this is working out really good. So just cleaning this down, it's good.
Dining room staying clean there is like not a whole lot anywhere of messes and like I said kids grow up and you don't have as much to pick up anymore which is always a good thing your house does get cleaner all you mamas out there thinking oh my goodness there's stuff everywhere you know what it does get better it really does get better it does it just takes some time sometimes just a season in life remember seasons do change it might be winter it might be that time that you feel like nothing is happening but guess what springtime is around the corner and it always does come Okay, I don't know what happened, but the the tables have turned for the laundry situation in our house and like there is not a crazy amount of laundry anymore. I don't know, for a while there I feel like we had a gazillion towels every Monday and it was just like a lot. It's, I don't know, something has flipped in the universe <laughs> and the laundry situation is going a whole lot better. I literally just have two loads to throw in today. Very simple. Wow, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Like I have to say our weather, or the weather was amazing. Like spring, early summer, it was so beautiful. I thought, wow, it's gonna be a great year. And then summer came along and it was hot, but it was like towards the end, it got to be so rainy. And I thought, oh my goodness, what a terrible time. And then here comes fall and it's been gorgeous. Like so gorgeous, not much rain, which, you know, it rains here all the time. So I was very thankful for the weather. It has just been beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Our leaves are falling like crazy. We keep leaf blowing. I'm like, all right, we were we had it just once a week doing it as a chore. And now I'm like, okay, it's more like every few days because I'm like looking right now up at the gutters, like, all right, we gotta get up there and clean those gutters off too. <laughs> so we'll get there. It's just the leaves will overtake you. I feel like we're just gonna blow them down and let them decompose back into the mountain. We sometimes do the whole entire mountain, but I feel like this year I'm just gonna leave them there and let them decompose and that's okay it turns it turns back into dirt right that's what it does <laughs> but it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous day I mean, another we had like 75 degree weather this weekend it was so beautiful the leaves were amazing i'm going to show you what day wednesday wednesday we went up on the parkway this weekend and um just because i had a couple kids that like my kids don't mind driving the car but the parkway the blue ridge parkway sometimes it's like twisty and turny and like some of the little ones are like you know especially the ones that want to throw up are like eh, that doesn't sound fun but i had some that really wanted to go and go see the leaves it had been a few years that we live here it's been a few years since they had gone we go usually every year um well yeah usually every year but we have i don't think we've ever gotten there like at peak leaf time we might have went when we first moved here I think so. I feel like when we first moved here, we went up there because I think we saw some bears and that was really cool. But usually we hit in like November and some of the leaves are down. It's more like, like how our leaves like yellowish, yellowish and yellowish and brown. <laughs> well, that's usually how what we see when we go up there. So this time it was, I think last weekend was the peak season, like the peak time. And this weekend was still pretty good. Like there was a lot of reds and oranges and it was so gorgeous. It was so pretty. So I will show you that Wednesday. I'm going to add to Wednesday's video. But today, um, you know, so it was good. It was just a good beautiful weather beautiful weather so I'm just it was like the perfect fall weather where you're sitting outside we were sitting down here on the swings and laying on the hammock and I'm like a oh, perfect 75 80 degree temperature day just gorgeous just gorgeous couldn't ask for a better place to live not I mean right now ask me in the summer when it rained every day and I was like <sighs> you just you come and go with the seasons but I, I was thankful I was thankful for it so it's good, so I'm gonna get my work done. I'm getting done, the only thing I have to do now is wash the floors, which is really good. So see, my morning was a little crazy starting and I'm like, how am I gonna get there? I didn't do a lot of talking. Usually I do a lot of talking when I um, clean, but today was just not a talking day. It was just more cleaning. So hopefully enjoyed some music there and uh, just cleaning up the house. And so the vacuums are rolling. 
Um, I'm gonna think about dinner and breakfast because I don't have any breakfast. I was thinking that we had the weekend food was good. We made food on Friday. Remember, I still have soup left. I still have gnocchi soup left. So. I need to eat that up, but there's only a few that like that. I think it's just Brooklyn and I, I really do. I think Brooklyn and I are the only one like the gnocchi soup, and that's okay. <laughs> I'll just learn to make way less. So that will be good leftovers. We did make mac and cheese yesterday. We had, um, Evan was here with some of his friends, and I was like, all right, I'm the winner mommy today. Do you, uh, you, you boys, you boys would like some boxed macaroni and cheese? And they're like, yes, ma'am. And so I made a bunch of it thinking like, they would eat like a ton and so um, made that with the street taco. Remember those packets I got at the discount store? They were 99 cents and you just added it to meat. Well, I took my fajita meat, I didn't film any of this, and added it to it and it was so, so good. It tasted like a street taco. I was like, wow, that was really good flavor. So, vacuum's gonna come outside of here, hopefully that. So we had that yesterday. So I have like, I think I have two containers left. Two or three like glass dishes of macaroni and cheese. I know, I was like, that's a lot of mac and cheese left. but. It will get eaten today. It's okay, it'll get eaten up. So I'm thinking that'll be lunch. We'll do breakfast. I'm thinking to go in and do um, some kielbasa cut up and just cook that. And then, I don't, I don't know if I'll do pancakes. Should I do pancakes? Hmm. I don't know, I think just kielbasa, maybe some, I don't know, potatoes and eggs maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll just do the separate. Maybe I'll just do it all separate. The kielbasa, potato and eggs. Just something simple to eat. Because we've got um, <laughs> homemade bread. So the kids, you know, when you don't have homemade bread for a long time, they're like, oh, it's, it's okay, it's good. I'm like, it's good for you, you need to have some. So I know this weekend we cut some up and I'm like, everybody's having a slice of toast for breakfast. So I'll have that to eat up too. So maybe I'll do, how about I do the kielbasa, I'm sorry, I'm thinking out loud. How about I do kielbasa, toast, and eggs? That's what I'll do. That's what I'm gonna do, because I have avocados, we can do avocado toast as well. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go cut the kielbasa up, fry it, take the toast, the homemade bread and slice it up and put butter on it or jam whoever wants it and then I'll do some fried eggs. I think that'll be good for breakfast. So well, anyways, we had that, that will get eaten up and then dinner I'm thinking to do um, sweet and sour chicken. Remember that good, is it tempura, tempura chicken? I wish I would've got more, it was $5 a bag and now that I see it, I'm like, wow, I wish I would've got more of it. But anyways, we got a package. So I'm gonna make some sweet and sour chicken and make egg rolls tonight. I think that would be really good. I've got those egg roll wrappers I got at the discount store and cabbage and sausage. So I'm thinking that would be really, really delicious. I'm thinking so, and I was waiting to get my soy sauce and since I got it this weekend, we can uh, make that. So I think that will be a really good dinner for tonight. That's gonna be my plan for food. So we still have pumpkin bread left. There's still half of the pumpkin bread. So I think I'll leave that out. I'll cut that up today and be like, okay, everybody eat some of this. Monster cookies are gone. Um, but it, it's gonna be good. Use and gather in those fragments like you do every day. So that is gonna be our food today. And we have school. School takes time. School takes a lot of time on my day and I don't film a lot of it. I don't film any except a couple of videos I've done. So just cause it's a lot of time to invest in my kids. So hopefully enjoy the cooking and the cleaning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in. Vacuums are still rolling and then I'm gonna start breakfast. Sound good? We'll go cut up some kielbasa, fry it up and fry some eggs. Sounds good and it's almost time for kids to wake up. All right, let's go back in. while the kielbasa is cooking over here, or the smoked sausage, I think it's the smoked sausage. <laughs> while that is cooking over here, I'm just gonna steam out my floor real quick to get that done, because it's almost time for our day to begin for school.
All right, so I'm switching over from homeschooling mom to kitchen cookie mom gear mode right now. So we we had a good day so far. We've done our school, got all the individual school done. Um, kids are working on independent study stuff. Some went for bike rides, some are off with animals, just lots going on. So I'm gonna start making dinner so I can get finished. So I'm cooking my sausage over here. It's just breakfast sausage to heat up so I can make the egg roll in a bowl. Check school. So I pulled out some grapes. We had a little bit of grapes left over, so I put those out. And then I think um, we had the mac and cheese. I had to keep make one more dairy-free box. So what I'm gonna do is take some um, cabbage and just shred it um, in my food processor, so I can add it to that. It's real simple. It's that is garlic, ginger, and soy sauce. So real simple. Got my cabbage all cut up. I'm gonna put it in my food processor here. Processor here and process it up. Okay, so my meat is all cooked. So I'm going to add all this cabbage. That's a lot in there. It'll go right down. Just a couple big pieces. It will like get smaller. I'm gonna add some garlic to it. A couple tablespoons. Of okay, ginger, add ginger. I'm gonna do sesame seed oil because I think that tastes good. I'm just gonna use the rest of that up. And then I've got, see how that breeze. This is the soy sauce I got. It's a little bit different, so I don't know how that works. Okay, all it does is untwist. I didn't know that. Smells like soy sauce. Some black soy sauce. Okay, so you just let this cook down. Real simple. It'll take about five minutes. Okay, so I feel like I added too much soy sauce to this, but we'll see. It doesn't taste bad. It just looks a little dark. We'll see. I'm gonna take my chicken. This is the tempura, tempura chicken. So it looks just like real restaurant sweet sour chicken for five dollars which is awesome I'm putting my air fryer cook it okay over here you know what I'm gonna do is make some rice because I'm gonna make sweet sour chicken I'm not gonna rinse it and drain it sometimes you should rinse it I'm not going to say I just don't feel like it so two cups of rice Okay, I'm gonna make my sweet and sour sauce. This is the only one that we have found that tastes really, really good. I think it's from the slow cooker and more recipes. I'm pretty sure that's where I got this a long time ago. So you take pineapple juice from a can, drain it out, put it in here. And then you can do a third cup of brown sugar. Get the measuring cup. It's a tablespoon of soy. A little bit, of, usually garlic and salt, but I'm gonna use real garlic, just a little bit. And then salt and pepper and chicken bouillon. Of all things, girl after my own heart. So you I feel like I added way more, I think it's three tablespoons. I feel like that was a lot, so I'm just going to add a little s slowly. Measure first. This is going to come to a boil. I'm going to add this to it. That looks perfect and tastes perfect. That is the perfect sweet and sour sauce. You want a really good sweet and sour sauce right there. It is good. So I'm gonna make chicken is cooking. Chicken is cooking. It's cooking. I'm gonna wipe off my counters after. I'm gonna get my egg rolls going because I have to put those in the air fryer too. 
Hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again Reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand Hold on when you need a friend I'll stay here to the end Get up, don't hang your head We'll take it step by step Fell inside Now I'm living in a matchbox Needed was a little spark Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it and put it so doing good so I've got Stephen was helping me make those he had made dumplings with Lauren and so he was doing the fancy designs but I've got a container still that soy sauce is so dark it doesn't taste like overpowering like too much it tastes good so I'll put this in the fridge serve this with sweet chili sauce maybe tomorrow after they eat the egg rolls I, was gonna, I have another package of egg rolls right in the same way so in my pan I've got plenty of seasoning sauce in there I'm just gonna add these in there and saute Oh my goodness, this is gonna be the most delicious tasting dinner ever. I'm debating, do I pour the sauce on the chicken? I feel like if I do that, there's gonna be some that I'm gonna go, I don't like the sauce. So, I feel like I'm gonna do that and just, you know, it's just, I'm just gonna be careful. Not all of it, but it's gonna be good. Like, look at, oops, right there. Let me go get my sauce. Like, this right here is sweet and sour sauce. Like, right away. Like, oh my goodness. We'll do it mostly in half. We'll go like that. That way, nobody likes it. Because you kind of want to mix it in there a little bit. You get a good spatula. This is a really good spatula. This one, the blue one. Look at, look at all the extra sauce it got out. Like, yeah right there mm -hmm. that is not sweet and sour chicken i don't know that right there is delicious delicious I'm like do you want to try a piece i'm going to just a tiny piece this is so good so good pf chang's chicken right there delicious and i've got this hold on let me get a bowl this is right here these taste really good so this is good the rice is done wait on the next round of egg rolls over here right here now you could have coated these with um what's it called oil but i don't i just cook them it's not to say chicken in here where'd that piece of chicken go right here let me show you so this is good there's my chicken so these are good they all turn out look at they're all closed like perfect yes yeah, you could wrap them and do it but this will be delicious i'll have one here in a minute so this is it. Dinner is done. I'm just going to cover this. We're going to be eating this in a little bit for dinner. Um, my rice, it is finished over here. I'll just let it sit in there and kind of keep doing its thing. And so now I'm done in the kitchen. I've cleaned up my dishes. I've got a list for the kids to finish up to help the chores for the day. They're going to get all done today. And I think I'm done. I think I'm finished for the day. So let's go outside because it's so nice out. All right. I had decided to come outside. The kids are in there. They're doing their audiobook series. And I'm finished. I'm finished with work for the day. So people, this might be like, why are you cook so early? Why do you? Because now I'm tired. I've been up since, what time today? 5.30? So it's like four o'clock right now. My day is coming to like the end of the day where most people would sit down and relax for the rest of the evening. But my evening is not gonna be like that. So what I will do is sit right now and go edit for a couple hours while the kids are doing their audio. So they'll probably do it for about an hour, maybe hour and a half. And then we will all have dinner. And then we will clean up. And then we'll probably do a movie night tonight because um, it's Monday. It's beautiful. I feel like we should go to the park, but I don't know. I'm tired, so I might not do that. We'll see. See what the kids want to do. But we have a few things to get done, our chores and stuff. But for the most part, it's been a good day. It was one of those days to like, I had to keep going and fan the flame. And even now, I'm like, all right, I'm almost there. I'm almost, it's almost bedtime. Not really, but if it, it, it's almost there. It's like, what, five hours away? <laughs> In five hours, I will be able to go to bed. So we'll get there you're gonna get there if you're tired you'll get there but in a few more hours it's gonna be bedtime and then tomorrow is a new day remember that maybe today was bad maybe just overwhelming maybe anxiety was just in you and it just made you like feel anxious all day and you just had a hard time just know that you know what tonight take a breather 
and tomorrow starts a new day. It starts a new day tomorrow, and hey, tomorrow can be better, right? Sun can come out again tomorrow. There's bees up here. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, you are created, and you are selected by God to do great, wonderful things. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.